Hello, and welcome to Gotcha News. I am your host, Peter. And our first news comes from Weathering Waves. Weathering Waves has finally have a release confirmation date, and it is May 22nd of this year. That's pretty hype. That is pretty hype. Congratulations to all Weathering Waves players. We will see you in about two months. So that is quite interesting. Definitely. Quite, quite interesting. Two to three months from now. Um, as for my thoughts on this release date, um, it is quite interesting. I heard from players in the past that the game should be cooking more often. But like I said in my previous Gotcha News update, if the dev team are confident enough, then why not go for it, right? Why not go for it? Also, something to really keep in mind is that, goddamn, why is everyone, why is everything following the whole twin slash sibling trend? Like, Genshin obviously did that with the whole Aether Lumine thing, and then, you know, obviously Aether but, you know, same company, so who gives a fuck? But then Tower Fantasy did it as well, and then now Withering Waves is gonna do it as well, and... I guess everything in this genre will be either a sibling dynamic for the MCs or like twin dynamic, like HSR kind of thing. So, you know, this is going to be quite interesting, definitely. Um, that being said, though, I feel like that's like the only similar uh, thing in terms of like story aspect, it seems like, that all these games share. Uh, when I was looking at the, uh, what is it, the trailer, you know what I mean, the video, like the release trailer video thing. Um, definitely gives off some, like, what is it? It gives off some, like, um, isekai heroes type of shit, where it's like, um, uh, you know, you're the chosen one, you must do this and that, and, uh, you know, you have the power of one of the greatest heroes of all time, and this and that, so, it def in terms of story, it seems like it will be different than some of the other gacha games that are in this, I guess, competition that are in this genre if you will so i'm excited to you know play through this and enjoy the story for for what it has you know what i mean i would love to see a competitor to genshin hsr um you know games of that map of that magnitude stuff like that you know what i mean and uh, zzz that's just gonna come out as well god jesus christ is me how you're taking over everything in terms of like huge gotcha games that you know fucking <laughs> that are that are like fucking console mobile hybrids at this point so it, it, it is quite interesting to think about definitely <laughs> rest in peace tower fantasy right rest in peace but i'm sure this game will be a national competitor because goddamn it's been four years without one so uh but yeah anyway now on to our next news Speaking of MiHoYo, Zenless Zone Zero has finally reached 30 million players in terms of pre-registration. And I think this is only just China as well. So this is a um, very interesting news in the regard that, uh, you know, this is only just China. So people are going to be really, really excited for this. I think this is going to be the next big thing. And honestly, I don't know. This 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 is going to be quite interesting for MiHoYo, right? This is going to be something quite interesting because I did make some criticisms, right? I did make some criticisms of the company about them releasing HSR so early when Genshin is still going so strong because, you know, HSR would take away some of Genshin's fucking spotlight and, you know, they would both kind of compete with each other. And in a sense, in a sense, I wasn't wrong because, like, the fucking communities, right, are always fighting against each other. So I wasn't wrong in that aspect. Because, but but also at the same time, right, but also at the same time, I, I guess I can be wrong because those games do fill different niches. And for the most part, they don't really hurt each other that much. If anything, MiHoYo still gets the fucking bag, right? MiHoYo still gets the fucking bag. And, you know, 
they are still in different genres at the end of the day. Yeah, sure, they are in the genre of high-quality production gotcha games that you can play on fucking PC console type of shit. But in terms of, like, the subgenres of, like, oh, RPG, or, you know, turn-based RPG and, like, oh, adventure-based RPG, you know, uh, action-based RPG, you know, they, they, in terms of, like, their, uh, what is it, that little subgenre, those two don't compete. But, yeah, uh, I feel like CCC is going to be the same way in terms of, like, in terms of, like, the high-production gotcha game uh, genre itself. I feel like it's going to start competing with those two again. But also at the exact same time, that subgenre, like that type of gameplay that it fulfills, it's going to be much different than the other two. So I think in terms of MiHoYo, MiHoYo will probably still get a bag on this one, definitely, I feel like. Uh, if anything, I think we're going to have to worry about, okay, it's not just Genshin fans and HSR fans fucking battling out for each other. They're, they're not the only ones that are going to be beating each other up. I, ZZZ is going to show up and they're going to try to beat up the other two. And, you know, it's going to be a fucking, what is it, you know, free-for-all against, you know, each other. Either that or they're all going to have a threesome or some shit. I, I, I have no idea. I, I am just the host, you know what I mean, of Gotcha News. I don't, I don't, I don't know much, okay? So that's a disclaimer. Yeah, that's a disclaimer. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not part of the Gotcha industry. We just cover news here at Gotcha News. Anyway, my name is Peter, and I've been your very wonderful host. And as always, if the world turns to shit, the only news source you can trust is gotcha news, goddammit. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!